Christina Colcho. Welcome. We are so pleased to be able to be with you in your lounge where you fly your whanau and learning about God even more than you have before. This month is a new month. It's March. So we're talking all about patience. Now there may have been some times that you had to have patience this month already and we're only into the first week. We say that patience is waiting until later for what you want now. That's pretty difficult. And today we're especially looking at, when is it hard to have patience? When is it hard to have patience? Let's play a little game. Thumbs up or thumbs down. So, put your thumbs up if you agree with what I'm saying. Put your thumbs down if it's not really a big deal for you. Here we go. Are you ready? Waiting for the holidays. Is that easy or is it hard? What do the rest of you fan, I think? Waiting for school to start. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Waiting for dinner. Oh, sometimes I just get so hungry, I just get a little bit hangry. I have to have a lot of patience waiting for dinner. Waiting for someone to get in the car because you're going to your very best place and they're going to make you late. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Is that hard for you to have patience? What about this one? We're in a bit of a kitchen today. Waiting for your favourite cake or biscuits to be baked and they've got to bake and then cool before you can eat them. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Yeah, that would be a thumbs down for Malcolm, most definitely. Thumbs up or thumbs down for Graham? Thumbs up! Here we go. He's learning all about what it means to wait until later for what you want now. Bon appetit, everyone. My name is Graham. I'm dressed like this because I want to know what it feels like to be a real chef. I want to be able to bake a cake that's as tall as me. I want to make chocolate chip cookies that are so gooey, the chocolate stretches a full six feet. I want to understand what fondant is. Fondant? Fondant? I want to be able to say the word fondant. But like most things in life, becoming a real chef takes time. It takes patience. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. And I know a thing or two about patience. I signed up for a baking class six weeks ago that wasn't supposed to start until today. So I have to wait. And today I found out that the class has been postponed for another two weeks because our teacher is sick. It looks like she's going to be okay, but Still, I have to wait some more. So now I'm wondering, what if I never get to go to class? What if it gets postponed again and again and again? What if it stays this way forever? forever. 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 The longer I have to wait, the harder it gets. If only there was some way to make the waiting not feel so hard. <laughs> Maybe there is a way. In today's story, we'll learn about a guy named Simeon who had to wait a long time for God to keep his promise. But Simeon didn't have to wait alone. So, I guess I'll see you soon. I'll just wait here. Oh man, I could really go for one of those gooey chocolate chip cookies right about now. Mmm, chocolate. So, Please don't interrupt. Interrupt what exactly? I've been feeling very impatient lately. I think it's because we live in a world where I can get most anything I want instantly. I check my phone for social media updates every four seconds. Sometimes I can watch a show on TV at the same time I'm watching a show on my laptop. At night, when I'm asleep, I listen to music so I don't have to hear the deafening roar of silence. So I'm trying to prove 
that I don't have to constantly be doing something to entertain myself. By? By doing the most boring thing I could think of. Watching paint dry. Oh. oh. This isn't the part of the wall I painted. Oh, man. Worth the wait. Hello, my name is Brandon. And I'm John. And this is... The Toto Show. Come on, let's get this show moving. What is the rush, John? Oh, we got fun to have, stories to tell, and lives to change, my friend. And I, for one, do not want to delay the proceedings with any overabundance of frivolous repartee. Also, I'm Volus. hungry. Volus. So. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, uh, that's... Frivolous. Okay, right, that's... Today is our baking show. Let's so, eat! Okay, hold on, we gotta bake something first. Uh, it's a baking show, but right? I'm hungry now. I'm hungry now. I get now. it. We're gonna... Okay, I'm sorry, you'll have to wait. We're gonna have a baking expert on the show a little later on, but first we're no, gonna play- No, please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> John, I don't think it's time for someone who knows stuff right now. You're just wasting hey, your time. Hey, come on out, They're come on out, come on out. Are they here? Yeah, yeah. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Here, 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 have this seat. That's really great, sorry. sit right here. Who are you and what do you know? Hi, huh. uh, my name is Felina Tossi and I'm a professional pastry chef. I make cakes and pies and all sorts of sweet, flaky goodness. Awesome! Let's eat. Okay, look, uh, can you teach us how to bake in approximately three and a half minutes? Uh, I don't know. How, how much do each of you know about baking? Oh, well, I, I attended Le Cordon Bleu for a year. And I'm not entirely sure how to get the inside of an egg to the outside. Oh. Uh, well, that is a pretty wide gulf, but that's okay. We can bake something that is simple for everyone. A oh. cake! Oh, let's eat cake! We have got to bake it first. Okay, then uh, it's time for the so-and-so show cake bake. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the so-and-so show cake bake. I'm Felina Tossi, and today we're making this, a funfetti celebratory cake. Perhaps it's for a birthday, maybe a graduation. Whatever the occasion, this white cake with chocolate frosting is a delicious treat for any who choose to partake. Let's check in with our chefs. Ooh, as you can see, Brandon is doing one of the most important things you can do for any recipe. He's reading the instructions. Let's see how John's doing. Oh, uh, John is just going for it. He must be really hungry. Really good cake takes time. You don't want to rush it. Remember, this isn't a race. It's just baking. Just look at the way Brandon cracks an egg. He is in no hurry whatsoever. You can tell Brandon's cake is going to taste good just by watching how much care he's putting into every step. Stirring by hand is a lost art. Chefs today often prefer electric mixers. Ow! 
two different chefs, two different techniques. Let's see which one worked the best. Brandon, bring your cake to the table. Wow, that looks terrific. What's your secret? Well, Felina, I followed the directions on the back of the box. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Let's uh, try a bite. Mmm, spongy and delicious. Well done. Thank mm. you. Let's see how John did. John? Yes, I got it. Oh, here it is. Want a bite? Um, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Forgot the icing. Come on. It just comes out like one. Oh, it's like cranberry sauce. There we go. Uh, did, did you... Did you even bake your cake? Well, Felina, I did put it in the oven for a few minutes, but now that you mention it, it did seem colder than it should have. Uh, did you let the oven preheat? Pre what now? Oh. Hey. Mmm. Bye. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That is not good. Just the bag. <gasps> you want to try some of mine? Yes, I do! Let me get a fork for it. Oh, no. Spongy! Oh, yeah, you're right. Follow the directions. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh, so good. <laughs> Hey guys! Hey Kellen! What are we talking about today? Well today, we are talking about waiting. And waiting. And waiting. And to help us through those long, long waits, we've got the So-and-So Show Players! <laughs> God's people knew a lot about waiting. For hundreds of years, they had been waiting for God to send them a savior or a Messiah like he promised. One of God's people, a man named Simeon, lived in Jerusalem. He was a good and godly man, and he was told by the Holy Spirit that he would see the Messiah with his own eyes sometime before he died. I will? I gotta get to the temple. Now, we can only imagine how Simeon felt when the Holy Spirit told him that he would see the Messiah. He was probably very excited. Yo, Simeon, what's going on, bro? Who are you looking for? The Holy Spirit told me that I would see the Messiah with my own eyes. What? <laughs> the Holy Spirit? said you would see the Messiah today? Well, he didn't say today exactly. Oh, well then, uh, then when? Just sometime before I die. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna head out, huh? Uh, see you next time, tomorrow, yeah? Same time, okay? Works for me. All right, all right, cool. Okay. We don't know how long Simeon had to wait. Could have been days, or weeks, even years. But he waited. Oh, has he come yet? Has he come yet? Not yet. No. Oh. In waited. Got to be today, right? <laughs> so obviously, it's got to be today. I mean, you have waited forever. Maybe. And waited, even after so many other people had given up. Waiting for that long for something so important would have been difficult. I can only imagine what it felt like day after day, year after year, just waiting. But then, one day, the Holy Spirit led Simeon into the temple courtyard.
It's him. It's him. Pardon me. Oh, yes? May I, uh, may I hold your precious child? Oh, uh, we don't even know of you. Of course. What's his name? His name is Jesus. Jesus. Lord, you are the king of all. Now let me, your servant, go in peace. That is what you promised. My eyes have seen your salvation. You have prepared it in the sight of all nations. It is a light to be given to the Gentiles. It will be the glory of your people, Israel. Simeon had seen the Messiah, our Savior, just like the Holy Spirit promised. It took a lot of waiting, but Jesus was worth the wait. Hmm. What I miss? Hmm. The end. Let's give it up for the so and so show players. Great story, Kellen. Yeah, waiting is hard. I know. I mean, think about how you feel the night before your birthday. Now add that with the night before Christmas and the night before the first day of school or vacation or anything really exciting. Then multiply that by a million and you might come close to what it felt like to be one of God's people waiting for the Messiah to come. Simeon could have given up and lost patience, but he didn't. He knew he had the Holy Spirit with him, just like we know we have God with us, even while we're waiting. That's awesome. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys next time, if you can wait that long. We'll do our best. Bye. Aren't you going to? I am. And why are you not? I'm proving that I can be patient. I'll just do it. Re Reveal the question! Today's question is, when is it hard to have patience? You know, I think I showed pretty clearly that my answer is all the time. Sometimes it's hard to have patience when you're waiting for good things, like uh, having to wait to open birthday presents. <laughs> and sometimes patience is hard during bad times, like waiting for a sickness to go away. Oh, yeah. Hey, talk about it together, and welcome to the So-and-So Show! What do you mean, welcome? The show is over. I'm getting started on the next one. I just can't wait! <laughs> Did you learn nothing? Oh, just like always. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Brandon, and that's John. And today on the show, we're telling the Bible story with laundry! We'll see you next time. Hey, laundry! Wow, that's good! <laughs> no, 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 put that. No, no. Ah, oh. 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 this, this is a nightmare. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I'm used to it. No, 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 a fork help. Ah. Huh? Let's uh. tell oh. a little corners. Brandon. We can decorate some more. <laughs> <laughs>
So that's the one thing to remember today. When you have to wait, remember God is with you. I still have to wait for my first baking class. Maybe it'll happen in two weeks, maybe longer. But no matter what, I won't be waiting alone. God will be with me. I'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll have some gooey chocolate chip cookies for us to try by then. I wonder if the goo will stretch from me to you. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> see you then. Oh, poor Graham. He really did struggle with being patient and waiting, didn't he? Sometimes when we're waiting for something really good to happen, and it seems a little bit impossible, or something that we really, really hope for, we just want it to happen so badly. It might be for somebody to get healed, or it might be for a trip to happen that we're really excited about. And that pressure can start to weigh us down a little bit. When that pressure starts to weigh us down, we can call on God and He will help us to be strong. In Psalm 27 verse 14, it says, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and don't lose hope. Wait for the Lord. Notice how it said, wait for the Lord twice? That's a really good key and really good clue to remember that God wants us to wait for Him and not feel weighed down. So when we feel weighed down, what can we do? Well, I have some old-fashioned scales here, and these are the weights. Now, it's hard to tell how heavy they are, but they're actually quite heavy. So I thought if I give you an idea of how heavy they are. So, I've got one tin, and another tin, and another tin, and it's still not the same weight, so we're going to put another one on as well. That's four tins. And now they're equivalent weights. This is the same weight as this one here. So we're gonna put these away for now because all we need are the weights. Just these ones here. Remember, this is the same as four tins. So what we're gonna do, I have an egg, just a normal egg here. And we're gonna see whether the egg can stand the pressure of all these weights. Remembering it's the same as four tins. Now I've also got some bottle caps. So I'm going to put the bottle caps down first because you know it's a rounded end there. And then put another one on the top. So that's just going to mean that I can balance stuff on there. Do you think I can? Let's give it a go. Ah, no problem. The air can withstand the pressure. It's so clever. Okay, what about if we put two on at once? Ah, oh, look at that. It's so easy. We put three on. It's going to get a little bit hard to balance now. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Look at that. The egg is withstanding the pressure. It's not breaking or cracking up. Okay, <laughs> this is starting to get a bit heavier. Can we put it on? Now this is not a hard boiled egg, I just picked this up from my chooks this morning, they just laid it today, it's completely raw. Okay, I feel like I should just put this one on, but I'm going to be really brave and do all of them. So here we go, can I balance them on, that will be the thing. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Can you see the egg can hold on to all of that pressure without cracking up? So why is that? That's a really good question to ask ourselves when we are waiting and we want something to happen, but we feel the pressure of waiting. So remember that God says to have patience, to wait on him and not give up. I think I'd be happy to be called an egg. The egg did so well with having all that weight and pressure on it and it didn't crack up. The egg is like me when I put my hope in God instead of putting my hope in myself. So this week, can I invite you, be an egg. Put your hope in God, wait for him and don't give up. When you find it hard to wait, when you're finding it hard to have patience, remember God's right there for you. 
go be an egg. See you next week. Sometimes it's hard to wait for all the things that I want. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long. you're working it out i'm gonna hold up slow down i'm gonna trust that you're working it out